Hello everyone, this is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane and this session is uh, on the importance of spinal health. So we're focusing on the, the, um, str the spinal strength, the muscles that surround the spine. Um, it's important that our spines are very flexible, we do a lot of stretching, but it's also very important that we have the mus musculature um, in place so that it protects the spine as well. So there's the combination to be able to be very, very um, supple and flexible and move with ease, but at the same time it's really important that we uh, have the muscle and the, the strength of the muscles that surround the spine. We're concentrating on the core, which really starts around the collarbone all the way to the mid-thigh. That's the actual core itself and, all, and the whole circumference of it. Um, but, and then there's the abdominals, which are the center of the core. So if that, you think about core, we often just think about the, um, the abdominal muscles, but the core is much more than that. So we're going to be doing some abdominals, but also some full core for core strengtheners. It's pretty much almost your whole entire body, really. And at the same time, focusing on the feet, the, the, uh, our um, stability when it comes to the feet, how important that is as well. So there's a lots of good things. Uh, and this is all about improving posture. And when we are postures um, good, then we feel good. <laughs> so that's, that's, you can't go wrong with it. Okay, so let's start with sitting up nice and tall. Let's to find, let's actually find our, our nice long spine. Let the eyes close for just a moment. As we connect to the tailbone, the base of the spine, connect by just simply pressing the sit, your sit bones into, into the ground or on the cushion you're sitting on. And you know then your tailbone is there, right there, uh, settled in. And then we're going to lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. And imagine the, how your spine might look like in your mind's eye. What does, would it look like as you lengthen? The vertebra will, will, very, will pull apart slightly. Not, a, you know, just very, but enough so that you decompress the compressed spine. And as we lift up, we start to feel a little bit more at ease, believe it or not. We feel lighter rather than heavier, so we're not dumping down into our pelvis. We're lifting up. And take your shoulders up towards your ears and roll them back and down. And that adds to the sense of freedom and lightness that you experience. And that's add the breath. So all this will help to feel this sense of ease that we'll feel in the spine. And then take it, or in our bodies really. And let's let ourselves breathe in, feel the, uh, the rib cage expand, and exhale, draw the pelvic floor up, the belly in. And then inhale again, breathe into that rib cage, diaphragmatic breathing. In yoga, we call it ujjayi breath. And we breathe in through the nose. And we exhale through the nose or for maybe at the very beginning of the practice through the mouth. Let's do another two breaths here. And what I suggest by watching me is to stick with the class. It's only 30 minutes because the end of it is where you get the best part of it, the relaxation, the shavasana. And you can't bypass the class to get there because it doesn't feel the same. So let's just gently now open our eyes and we're going to come onto our backs, um, suggesting a block, um, just one block for this, this class. If you don't have a block, no worries. You can use a, a, actually a book if you wanted to or a, a blanket that's fold, folded up. There's two purposes behind this block. So if you, if you need to go grab it, that's fine. Just put me on pause. And then unless you're, the li you're my live audience, then of course you'll have to kind of either wait until the next class or, or um, sneak out very quickly. But otherwise, everybody's lying on their backs. 
And that's stretched through the whole length of the body, stretched through the feet, stretched through the, the arms. Start to in, envision that spine and the shape of the spine. It's not a straight line, it's not a rod. And then take an inhale and exhale, hug your knees into your chest, little rocks and rolls from side to side. Then place your feet flat on the ground and hands, arms are next to your sides. Walk your heels and tap the, the um, tip of your middle finger. This, you're measuring out for your bridge pose. Arms back next to on the ground, take a breath in, arching your lower back, exhaling, pressing your lower back into the ground. And I want you to peel yourself off the ground. Now, you don't have to come terribly high in this, because this is your first bridge for this, for, uh, this class anyway. And once you've lifted, imagine there's a block between the legs and I want you to engage those inner thigh muscles and you're going to, as you do that, you'll feel your tummy muscles working. So this is a strengthener, especially the, the back, uh, back strengthener. Now from here, you can either stay here or walk your left foot in a little bit closer and lift your right leg up to the sky. So you might say, oh, this is too much for me. You can also place your right ankle on your left thigh. That feels a little bit better. But lift up and push and create that active feet with that right foot. Press it up, press it up, press it up. And then the next option to add on is to lift up your left heel. So you're on your toes for your left foot. Quite intense, quite intense, but and then take a breath in, first lower the left heel down, then lower your right foot down, and then come all the way down into your, onto your back. And just do a few little sways of the knees from back, from side to side. Now we do the other side. Take a breath in, and arch your lower back, and then as you exhale, draw the tummy muscles in, press the lower back into the ground, and then peel your tailbone off the ground. Just keep peeling, peeling, peeling until you get to a certain point on your back. Imagine the block between your legs. Squeeze that block between the legs. And then, option here, stay here. This, is, this might be just enough for you. If not, follow me. Bring your right foot in a little closer to your left foot. Left leg lifts up. And what happens here is you're, you're requiring to work, you're working more of the muscles on the right side. Push through the left ball mound of that left foot and maybe then lift the right heel off the ground, coming onto those toes. <coughs> and you're gonna notice that the hips are going to kind of lose um, you know, the evenness between the hips. So just try and get them even, pick your left he, um, hip up. And then lower your right heel down then lower your left foot down, and then come all the way down to the ground. Oh, hug your knees into your chest. Lower, this is a, a lower back strengthener and an ab abdominal strengthener, Whew, lots of things. <laughs> I can feel this myself. Okay, now feet back on the ground. We're going to do some abdominals. Um, bring the feet in so they're a little, about hip distance apart. Both legs lift up to the sky. Okay, take, your arms are next to your sides. Take a breath in and lift your head and shoulders off the ground and your hands off the ground. The, your arms are hovering, reaching forward. From here, take an inhale and exhale, lower your right foot down and hover it, off, hover it a few inches from the ground. If you need to do this, do it bent. If it's easier bent legs, that's fine too, okay? And then lift, both, lift that right leg back up to meet the left. Take an inhale and exhale, left leg down, either bent or straight. You can always support your head with your hands if you need to. Inhale back and then hug your knees into your chest. Little rocks and rolls from side to side. And then let's do, let's do the, uh, the, uh, the same thing but a slightly different version. Legs back up or legs bent to a 90 degree angle, okay? Take a breath in, this time hands behind the head, lift your head and shoulders off the ground, elbows slightly out to the sides. You're going to drop your right foot down, leg down, just hover, and then lift up a little bit higher and twist so your right elbow twists towards your left knee, and you can do this bent knees again. You know, always have that option. And if you want to add on to this, take your arms from behind the head and stretch them outside your left thigh, working these, um, oblique muscles. 
So breathing in and out. So starting to think about the muscles around the spine. Inhaling, hugging your knees into your chest. And then legs back up again with hands behind the head. Let the head settle into the hands. Take a breath in and drop your left leg down, bent or straight. Hover it off the ground. Inhale your head and shoulders off the ground. Exhale, left elbow in towards your right knee. It's not going to go far. And then from here, take a breath in, lift up a little bit higher, and then exhale. Maybe, this is only a maybe, reach your arms outside your right thigh and stretch the arms away. Whew. And then hug your knees into your chest. So yes, the spine, we think, oh, let's stretch out our spines. But if you don't strengthen them as well, it's, not, it's really not going to make a huge difference. Come all the way up onto your bottoms. Let's just extend your legs and stretch out now. We get, we'll give our spine a stretch. Take a breath in and feel into those feet. If you can if you even touch them, if not, just place the hands next to your legs, breathing in. And as you breathe out, this time slowly roll yourself back up and place your feet flat on the ground and bring your bottom a little bit closer to your feet. Now we're, gonna, we're going into a... Um, boat. So reach your oh, hands underneath your knees. <laughs> We're not there yet. Lift your knees off the ground, squeeze the legs together and let them stay bent here. Arms can be released from the legs or you can continue to support underneath the knees and hold. Now what I want you to do here is flex the feet so that wakes up those legs or the other option is through the ball mounds of the feet. Do the active shape feet. You decide. Squeeze the legs. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Inhaling and exhaling and then place the feet flat on the ground. Hands just below your knees, not thighs, but just below the knees on the shins and then inhale. Lift forward, opening up your chest. Cats and cows. Exhaling, rounding through the spine. Now we're moving into our stretches. Inhaling, lifting and open. This is called extension. Exhaling, rounding, flexion. Inhale, lift up one more time, opening up that chest and then heel toeing those feet back in. And we're going to do what they call a stag, a bow. So it's the same thing, but you'll see. Lift your legs back up. And if you need to kind of place a foot on the ground, then do so. Hands either underneath the knees or out to the sides. This time, squeeze the legs together, but just straighten your right leg and drop your left leg slightly down. So you can see and squeeze the legs together. This one always gets my right thigh. And breathe in. And now push through the ball mounds on both feet or flex the feet, whatever you want to do. Point and soften the shoulders and breathe. If you're if your spine loses its straightness or it's then I want you to place the feet back down and let's lift up and let's do like a few little cats and cows again inhaling forward and exhaling rounding inhaling forward and exhaling rounding and then we'll come up nice and tall again think about the axial extension which is the lengthening of the spine legs together obviously we have another stag to do right take a breath in lift your knees up <sighs> and then arms out to the sides maybe and this time your left leg straightens your right your right leg bends and breathe in if you're losing that lengthening of the spine take your right foot place it on the ground keep that that nice, tall, long spine. And then from here, this time, cross your ankles and let's fold forward, stretching out the spine. Oh, that feels nice. <laughs> what a relief sometimes, right? Going from an intense strengthener to a stretch and that's why we do it. That's why all of this is planned for a reason. It's designed to counter, kind of give ourselves a time to recoup. Come onto your hands and knees. Block near you, or not if you don't have one, 
or you grab hold of a towel and roll it up. Let's press into a child's pose. Reach your arms forward. So this is an extended child's pose. Stretch through those fingers. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let's lift into your tabletop. Curl the toes under. Let's stretch our toes. See if you can get hold of the baby toe, possibly. Let's walk your hands towards your knees. Let's sit on the heels just for a moment. And I know this is an ouch moment for many of us, especially if you have really stiff toes. If you do this a lot, these might, this might not be as painful. It just happens, it comes with time and practice. And then come back onto your hands and knees and flatten out the tops of the feet for a moment. Let's do two sets of cats and cows in this shape. So the cat and cow is exhaling, rounding through the, into the cat stretch. Drop your head. And then inhaling, lifting and opening, letting the belly soften, arching your lower back, exhaling, rounding, draw, drawing the tummy muscles in. Let's do one more set. So this is a stretch and a strengthener. You're doing both. Stretching and strengthening. And then come back to neutral, a neutral spine. Now from here, take your block, place it between the, your thighs, the narrow end of the block, not the wide. And then back into your shape. Curl the toes under again here. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift your knees off the ground a few inches. And let's stay here for a few breaths, inhaling. I find this easier to do with a block. It's interesting if you try it without, you kind of like have to use, I don't, I'm not sure why, I'd have to work that one out. And then knees are, knees are um, hovering still and then exhaling into your downward dog. Keep the block there for a few breaths. Press into the, th uh, the ball mound of the big toe, ball mound of the little toe. The heels are towards the ground. Let's take two deep breaths in downward dog. Inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> then take a breath in and just and take the block, place it to the side. We'll come back to it. And let's find our way to the front of the mat. Once we're at the front of the mat, we're going to do a sun salutation, just a warm up. Inhaling, sliding the hands up the shins, lifting up halfway. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Lift up nice and tall. Exhale, back bend. So that's the extension. Exhale, float the hands forward, forward fold. Stretch out the back. Inhaling, sliding the hands up the shins. Lift up halfway. Exhale, step back, downward dog. This is just a way to warm up your body, your spine. Inhaling into your plank. Knees down or up, hold, 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 hold. And then exhale, hinge forward and lower down onto your stomachs. Let's slide, let's slide the hands either next to your chest or you could bring them a little further forward or level ones which are beginners or it doesn't have to be beginners, just where you want to be today, elbows under your shoulders, okay? I'm going to bring my arm hands a little closer towards my chest. We're going to Place the forehead on the ground, take an inhale and exhale, lift if you're on your forearms, you can't obviously. Inhale, lift up, keep your elbows bent. Exhale, lower down. As you're doing this, squeeze your bottom cheeks. Use your glute muscles to support that lower back. Inhaling, lifting, exhaling, lowering. One more time, inhale, lift and hold, squeeze the elbows towards each other. And then take a breath in and lower back down. Slide your hands next to your chest. Curl the toes under. Press back into an extended child's pose. Or feel free to follow me downward dog. Little sways of the hips. Bend and straighten the legs. Lower the knees to the ground. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to swing around so you can see what we're going to do. I'm bringing the block with me. If you, ha you can even use a book if you wanted to, if you don't have a block. So what we're going to do is start with our arms forward. We're going to think of the, the block will eventually be in our hands. We're, you're going to place your hands on either on the ends of the block, long end of the block. Not curl the fingers over, but just push into it. 
with your palms. Okay, so we're reaching forward, legs together or slightly apart, forehead on the ground, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just lift your forehead off the ground, then lift your legs off the ground, then lift your block off the ground, keep your gaze down. So you're hovering on your tummy. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, take your, the block in your right arm, reach it to the side like an airplane wing, and then place it behind on, on your lower back, and then leave it there. Leave the block, and then swing your right arm back to the front. We're going to take an inhale and exhale. The left arm sweeps to the left like an airplane wing, and then exhale, bring it back behind you, lift the block up with that left hand, and then swing it back to the front. And then lower down for just a second and shake your, your hips. We're gonna do this one more time, back strengthener. Take a breath in, foreheads on the ground, legs are together, inhaling, lift your, that, that block up, squeeze the block with the hands, so we're working our arm muscles. Take an inhale, now the block's in your left arm, reach it out to the side, like an airplane wing, and then place it, bring it all the way to your, onto your lower back and leave it there. Sweep your left arm forward. Take a breath in and exhale, right arm sweeps to the right, airplane wing and then bring it and grab hold of the block with that right hand and then sweep it forward this is an interesting one and then now the block is back in both hands in the front of you and then lower down <laughs> and then slide back up into your tabletop so if you're pretty strong that might have not done much if it really worked, if you felt that was intense, then we have some strengthening to do, right? Extra strengthening. Press back into your child's pose. <sighs> That's inhaling into your tabletop. Let's curl the toes under, exhale, downward dog. From here, either step or if you're a jumper, you can leap forward to the front of the mat. Once you're at the front of the mat, come into a forward bend. Feet are slightly closer, not touching that hip distance or a little bit closer than hip distance. Take one more breath in a forward bend. Take an inhale and exhale. And then from here, I want you to bend your knees. You, we're, we're going into our chair pose. So your our hands are in front of your heart and then sit down and lift your chest forward think of your spine as a straight board there's not there's no rolling forward there's no leaning back it's as straight as a board so you take your take your pelvis your hip your sit bones and press it down lift your heart a little higher now from here press down into that right foot take an inhale follow me up pick your left foot up with you come into what they call this is the stag with the left leg in that 90 degree angle. Now you could stay here or you can straighten your left leg, kick to that left heel, and the other option is to reach your arms up. If you're really struggling with the arms at your heart center, then just stay there. Now from here, follow me, either step directly into your high lunge or follow me, kick your left leg back. First, come in, bring your hands to heart, and then float into your warrior three where your left foot reaches back, looking down towards the ground. I happen to have a wall for, for, to help me. And then you step back into your lunge. Take a deep breath in, oh, that feels nice. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then let's exhale, place the hands back on the ground, step your left foot forward, forward bend. Lots of balances, lots of core strengtheners right there. So make sure your feet, you're pressing into those three corners of the feet. Big toe ball mound, little baby ball mound, and the front of your heel. Take an inhale and let's bend the knees again. Make sure the feet aren't too far and not too close. And then hands to heart. So sit down onto that imaginary chair. Lift your heart forward. 
straight spine. Take an inhale, press into your left foot now. Inhale and exhale, lift that right leg up, bring it with you into a stag. And I'm going to just come forward a little bit, take a breath in. And you can kick that right leg forward if you'd like, kick through the heel, and then maybe arms up. <sighs> Breathing in, use the breath to help stabilize your, your uh, nervous system. Now from here, you can step back directly into a lunge or follow me, hands back to heart, press back into your warrior three, and crown of the head forward, right leg kicks back. Take a breath in and then lower your right foot down and hands to heart and keep your hands up to your heart. Then inhale, reach your arms up. Then lower the hands to the ground. Step back, downward dog. Stretch out the spine, stretch out the legs and then lower down. Onto your knees, press back into a child's little wiggles from side to side and then walk your hands to your slide your hands to your knees and just take a few rolls of the shoulders loosen up take your right hand on your left side it's just a gentle twist left hand on your lower back and then the same thing left hand on your right thigh right hand on your lower back gentle gentle twist So we often, after we've done some core strengtheners, you feel good, you feel like, you feel empowered. That's the beauty of these um, abdominals. You might not have done them perfectly, you might have struggled, but it's always, you have to start somewhere. It's, it's always a starting point for all of us. Let's lower ourselves onto our backs. And once on your back, Hug your knees into your chest, massage your lower back, knowing now that we're moving from our, we're going into Shavasana. You can just follow me, since we did a slight little twist anyway, take your left foot to the left corner of the mat, right to the right. If you feel like doing spinal twists on your back, feel free to do that. Otherwise, just settle into your Shavasana. Let the arms, the palms face up chin towards chest, feet opening naturally to the sides. Let your body melt into the mat. Face is melting. Let everything go. And you will remain in this posture for about two to five minutes, suggesting if you have to come out, you have time actually. Stay, stay in for a little bit longer. And I will, I'm, I'm, I've come up to seal the practice. If you choose to stay longer, please stay longer. Enjoy, otherwise come up with me into your easy seat. Ah, feels nice. Nothing like a good stretch and strengthener. It, what it does is it triggers your endorphins and your um, adrenaline, because you're, especially the balances, and it, it, it kind of gives you that good feeling. But at the same time, you've had the oxytocin from the, the relaxation, from the stretches, from the child's poses, all the resting types of poses that triggers that. So you have a mixture of all these beautiful chemicals working together rather than just endorphin, just um, the uh, 
adrenaline, but the combination of all that makes the perfect, it's really kind of like the perfect stew or the perfect soup. It's a concoction that it is what makes us feel good. So as I bring my hands in front of my heart to seal our practice for this session on spinal health and spinal strengthening and back strengthening, this is Rebecca Jane from yogawithrebeccajane.com. If you enjoy my classes, subscribe. Just touch the button on the right-hand corner of the screen. Comment. Let me know the things you like, what you would like more of, and thumbs up. Other than that, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Namaste.